Hi everyone, Steven Milo here at the Diadem Technology Center in Pompano Beach, Florida. Uh, today I'm here with Michael Manglardi, VP of Operations and part of the product development team. Today we're going to be talking about Craven. Let's get into it. For those at home that might not know, what is Craven? Yeah, it's a great question. So uh, Craven is this really unique and, and exciting material. Uh, that we've brought into the Elevate V3 frames. Uh, in its simplest form, Craven is a rubber material, and this rubber material uh, gets combined with the carbon fiber during the molding process of construction. Um, and what that does is it's gonna give players just an overall more stable, more comfortable feeling racket without compromising any of the power that they would need. Where else is Craven used? Yeah, so Craven has a history of uh, being used across all different industries. It's not something that's commonly seen in the tennis industry, um, but it is pretty common in the sports industry. So, uh, for example, bicycles are uh, utilizing Craven a lot of times. Also, the automotive and uh, racing world uh, incorporates Craven. Um, but then, even outside of sports, you have uh, wind energy, and that industry has, has leveraged Craven. Um, also, train systems. So a lot of trains uh, and modes of transportation are uh, using this this Craven technology. And so we're just excited to be able to take something that is already successful in other parts of the world and in other industries, and be able to bring that to the tennis business. Can we expect Craven to be used in future diadem products? It's a great question, and. Um, just the initial response, not just from our internal team, but also from our play testers and our customers, revolving around the Elevate V3, and specifically the Craven's responsiveness has been so positive um, that I can't give too much away, but I can say that we are looking at other ways to incorporate this material into uh, the future of Diadem Sports, both in tennis and pickleball. Ultimately, why did Diadem choose to include Craven in the V3? So the, the goal with the V3 racket was to take the existing Elevate frame, which is our flagship racket. We went from the Gen 1 into the FS and now the V3. And this racket has always been known as the Diadem control frame, the player's oriented racket. And so what we wanted to do with the V3 was take a lot of those characteristics from the FS and enhance them. We wanted to still have a racket that was super control friendly, you know, keep that 98 square inch head size, but just give players a more enhanced experience. And so with the Craven, what we were able to find is that the comfort on the racket, the plush, really consistent feeling when you're making contact on the ball uh, had been heightened to really a, a different level with the V3 uh, when compared to the 2020 FS model. What is the tangible benefit that players will experience with a, a tennis racket that has Craven in it? So when you look at the Elevate V3, there's a couple areas where the Craven is, is very relevant, specifically in the nine and three section of the racket, as well as the throat of the racket. And so what that's going to do is it's gonna give players a really stable feel on impact, and it's also going to make uh, a certain consistency when the racket's flexing that's gonna generate power, but also placement of the ball where you want it, in the right spot, at the right time. What additional benefits uh, are there to the inclusion of, of Craven? So aside from you know, the stability, the comfort, uh, the, the responsiveness of Craven, it's also a, a tried and true tested material that has a proven track record of durability. Um, and so what that's going to do is it's going to make this racket a long-lasting racket uh, that players are going to be able to depend on for years to come. And so um, a lot of times sports equipment boasts a certain technology where you take it out of the box, it feels great, those first couple of shots, you know, the thing feels beautiful, but then over time some of those characteristics fade. Uh, the beauty of a product like Craven is that those characteristics are going to stay with the racket as long as you have it. What other upgrades were made from the uh, FS to the V3? So the most obvious improvement or change to the racket, in our opinion, is the cosmetics. So just looking at it on the wall, you have the V3, which brings in this royal navy blue colorway. 
that I think really appeals to a wide range of players. Um, and it also incorporates a translucent, almost metallic looking paint that has a soft feel to touch. And so those are all just, you know, simply cosmetic changes. Um, but we have seen that a lot of players have really enjoyed those improvements to the racket. We still have the FS technology that the original Elevate brought in, uh, which includes the foam injection and the carbon rid structure. Um, and then lastly, that Craven placement uh, is, is going to just take this racket and bring it up one notch. With the addition of Craven at the three and the nine uh, in the V3, does that affect the balance of the frame at all? Yeah, so one of the beautiful features of Craven is that it's ultra lightweight and ultra flexible. And so even though we've added it into those key regions of the racket, uh, we've been able to compensate for that to keep the racket at the same balance point and the same weights as the original and the FS versions of the elevator. Michael, thank you so much for your time today. It was awesome to learn about Craven and the new technology that's gone into the Diadem Elevate V3. Um, for those of you at home that are looking for a new tennis racket, you can find the V3 at diademsports.com uh, and your local retailer. Thanks, Stephen. We'll see you guys out there. Thank you.